Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, in Expressionist Art Studio, Gallery, Studio. Gallery, Studio, Gallery, Studio. And um, this is my container I'm going to put some colors in at some point in time. I think it doesn't belong here right now. These are things I usually scoop things with. I don't think I'm going to use any of those right at the moment. These are my funnels. I used a small one of these and made something great the other day. I used the larger one and it wasn't so great, but I'm going to give it a try again. These are silicone cupcake holders, and I wanted to show you guys, after I dumped all the paint out, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's ribbed. I left some paint in there, and the paint just comes right out, and it's beautiful colors, and it's got that great pattern, and I'm hoping to use that for something. I'm put that right over there. Probably not this time, but I just had to share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 14 by 14 inch canvas. I'm going to fill up my containers. Glasses, put the glasses on my face. I'm going to use some, some white metallic from Anita's because it's not as, it doesn't swallow the paint completely just as much as um, regular white. My regular white mixtures. All my paint has pouring medium and my recipe is below the video. So I want two of these in case I don't have enough paint. <laughs> because I did one without enough paint. I don't know if I'll keep the colors all the same. Looks like I gotta mix some more of that soon. This is some Prussian blue, which usually comes as a heavy body, and you just need to cut it with more pouring medium. Just keep mixing things until you get them the way you want them. Um, I've already gone past where my comfort zone was, but I think that's gonna work just fine. Um, okay, change of plans. Back to my original. I'm gonna throw some gold in there. That's Decor Americana, 24 karat gold. And I am going to use my purple flash, which is very similar to that neon multi-surface acrylic from Folk Art. This is the purple flash color changing from Folk Art called the color shift. I think I'm going to let myself have some turquoise this time. I'm going to force some of that in there. Um, I've got another turquoise. There it is. My other color shift from, Tur from Folk Art. I guess you can tell I love the color shifts. And I'm going to take a chance and put some of this 24 karat gold from Decor de Americana that I have added some color shifting orange from Folk Art to. And I'm going to push some of that in there. And maybe, maybe that's enough. Those are pretty. I like that. Okay. Put those down out of the way, hopefully. Stay out of the way for a few minutes. And I have to decide what I want to do. And I think what I'm going to start out by doing is using my OXO omelette turning spatula, which is available on the Amazon link. Underneath Show More, there's a link tree. The link tree holds all of the links. It's the first blue link under the video. It's not hard to find. When you click it, it shows you all the other links. And at the top of that, very near the top anyway, is my Amazon link where you can find the OXO omelette turning spatula, Princeton Art Tool Kettle spatulas, like so. They're uh, called mini blades. There's six of them. I like to use the number one more than anything, but I like the round tip and the pointed tip, and I just like a lot of them. So I found that when doing these funnel pours, I have to pour some paint away, which is not my thing. I think that's where this container will come in handy. I will just do my best to pour whatever I have that's extra off, and then I will use it in another painting because I have another painting in mind. And I did just use that to, uh, to cover that edge, that one edge. Because the, these are nice because it carries a layer of, a nice heavy layer of paint. And you can run that right along the edge and it will go right down over a lot of times. Maybe not this one because I'm actually talking about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try not to worry about my edges because I will be tipping this. The next painting is the one I plan to not tip. I'm going to try and do another wreath shape, only I want to do it in the shape of a heart. I don't know when that video is going to air, so don't look for it. You can always ask me questions if you ever need to. Yes, I'm fussing in the paint. I can see some of the paint receding from the edges, but that's these in inexpensive canvases from Michael's from Artist Loft. And uh, I use a lot of them, so I sort of it's the lesser of the evils. 
the larger of the evils would be to spend a fortune for me. <laughs> but all right, so I'm going to stop playing and throw that in the bucket, and then I'm going to grab. What do I want? I want gold, but I think I'm just going to give myself some puddles of paint. Try and keep them somewhat centrally located. Grab my big funnel. I like the small one. The small one worked really well, but it took seemed to take forever. Now I'm going to let this cupcake container sit over on one side tilted so that most of the paint that's in it will come out. And I'll dump the rest of that in it in a while. Now I find when I do these funnels, if I move them back and forth in patterns, I'm much happier with my result. And I may do a whole nother funnel pour and travel it back and forth, which was always my intention, to tell you the truth. So here goes my second cupcake holder. The first one is probably ready to empty some. I'm loving these colors, but they you know, if you know me, you know these are my colors anyway. So if you stop and raise it just a little bit, and then start and stop, you can drag patterns through. I never tried to do any spirals. So I'm going to put that right where? <laughs> I'm going to rest it on my Lola Fee silicone mat and hopefully it will drain down some. In the meantime, I think I'm just going to give myself permission to dump what's left in my cupcake containers. I want the rest of that to tell you the truth. Hey, I got some too. Cool. All right, so what can I do with that? I can, I can juggle cupcake containers. I'm going to do what I did the last time and torch briefly to release some of the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to just keep dribbling until there's nothing left to dribble. I'm going to rest that funnel so that it will release that. That's pretty right now. I had a feeling I dripped. So there's no silicone in this particular painting, but something about dribbling below the, oh, you know what? The stage that I need is coming up and it requires some paint be out of my way because I want elbow room and I'm just going to let that continue to develop for a minute and put some of my edge catchers right. Is that the right length? It is the right length. And I like the fact that there's no paint on that edge because that means I can dribble right over there if I want to. I like it the way it is. <laughs> I don't want to stretch it out. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to get as close to the edges as I can. I do think that these benefit greatly from being dripped over. I saw something. Where is this something I saw? There it is. Come here, thing. So you definitely get an effect of some cells with this method that you don't get with a ring pour even though it looks like I sort of poured a ring pour. And I'm not sure what I'm going to get, which is kind of the exciting part, too. And where the paint is heaviest and it's flowing the most, that's where your paint is going to go flow the most. But everywhere else is going to stay a lot more stationary. So keep an eye on your flow. I'm going to be uncharacteristic and let that flow right off onto my edge catcher. Probably even further than I'm comfortable with because I want to cover those edges. Stick my finger in that hole. Gap. Stick my finger in the gap. I can, if I want to at this point, go right back and take the paint that I just dropped onto my edge catcher and put it into the artwork if I want to. I maybe went a little further than I needed to. Grab all of that right off there. I think I'm going to wipe my hands off since I just ran my fingers under that and have a look at this for a minute. And then I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula available on the, on the Amazon link I told you about. 
and I'm going to grab some of this and I'm going to change up what's here as far as those stripes go just because I know it'll add some dimension and I've got more beautiful paint right here and I still want to tip back in this direction pretty colors what else do I want to do to this? I don't want to do much but I am a skewer addict so I'm going to just give myself permission since I'm really not this is like my fourth funnel pour ever and uh, I'm enjoying myself but I'm also aware that I have plenty to learn probably <laughs> assumably and uh, I don't mind those ribbons up there I also don't mind making them what I call more cohesive or dropping off some more paint and paint will flow to paint so anytime you add new paint you're helping other paint flow oh I see a bird I also am watching paint flow around in more interesting configurations I like stripes fine and I like the zigzags too but sometimes it's just nice to have more things happening and you can watch, that's heavy, that's heavy, and both of those are going to flow in that direction. Of course, I love that purple over there, so I'm not sure I really want it to go anywhere. So I might just change my mind and go back in this direction again. And I'm watching that nice set of cells in that pink line go. And if I can get them to go over to where I want without swallowing, oh, I really like those cells over there. They're too cute to let go. I like these. So, what do I want to do? I want to just keep watching the patterns fill in where the stripes were and then maybe I'll risk it and take some more paint again. Usually what I would do is let it flow right off the canvas. Come on, kink out. And that just works better for me in that I have all those beautiful colors now. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm going to make sure not to take the muddy part. I used to do seashore scenes with dribbles, so you can definitely always dribble with your spatula. There, I'm not minding that. Got one more nice little section. I don't like the little tails as much as I like the drips. Maybe because they're more like cells. I definitely like the drips though. So maybe one more torching and I'll worry about my edges. I've got plenty of paint on my tile to cover my edges. Matter of fact, I might do that right now because I can. The name of my first book next to my second book. My first book is Because I Can. The second book is Unlimited Possibilities. They are both available on the Amazon link in paperback and ebook or soft cover sh shall we say and uh, they have a lot of good links in them to get you hooked up with my videos. They're full of tools and processes and links. I want some more black to go over that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to rinse my finger off. We got beautiful cells and I didn't use any enamel and this is wonderful. Where'd my torch go? There we go. <laughs> right in front of me. Yeah, I like this black. I think I want to lead some of it away because I can. Add a little bit of texture up there. Love these oil slip col slick colors. Even if it doesn't look quite natural, you can just stick your finger in. It's easier than blowing up a balloon. So I love you guys, and there's almost 89,000 of you as we speak. If you check below the video and you want to be of assistance and get some cool stuff, there's all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts on Teespring. You can see that if you click on any of the pictures, it'll lead you there. There's also a Teespring store on my on my YouTube channel, and the community board will show you today's video. 
And playlists are there with over 1,400 videos, and they're organized, maybe 15 by now, they're organized by the hundred in the genre and topic. So if you guys have questions, I'll remind you. You can feel free to ask me. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful comments you leave me all the time. You lift my morale and my spirits. And if you want to be a, a supporter of the studio, you may donate if you wish through PayPal or Patreon. I prefer PayPal. But um, you can see what the prizes are for the monthly drawing that you'll be automatically in included in. On the end screen of any video, there's an exhibition video for every month. And you can see what those prizes are there. I love you guys. I will probably see you anon. And uh, make sure if you check that link tree, you look for Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter links. And uh, my paint pouring recipe is under the description. If you give me a thumbs up, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you watch the videos longer, share the videos and watch them when the notifications come out. That's a huge help to me. Don't forget to shop my Amazon link. You can shop it for anything you want. So long as you start there, you will help support the studio producing videos. Thought that was something, but it's not. I love you guys. I'm going to do a little cleanup and do another painting. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bye for now. Whoa. Priscilla out. I'm going to zoom in if I can. There we go. We'll try and zoom in. Can we zoom in more? We could. There's some great cells in there. Let's see if I can spin the turntable. And if that works. That would be cool. Yeah, I really like that. It's very accidental. I'm going to be covering that black, that edge that doesn't look like it's covered with some black paint. All right, you guys. I love you. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.